I am very proud uh, to be able to sign uh, the Daniel Pearl Freedom of the Press Act, uh, a piece of legislation that sends a strong signal uh, about our core values when it comes to the freedom of the press. All around the world, there are enormously courageous journalists and bloggers who, at great risk to themselves, uh, are trying to shine light on the critical issues that the people of their countries face, uh, who are the front lines against tyranny and oppression. And obviously, the loss of Daniel Pearl uh, was one of those moments that captured the world's imagination because it reminded us uh, of how valuable a free press is. Uh, and it reminded us that there are those who uh, would go to any length uh, in order to silence uh, journalists around the world. What this act does is it sends a strong message from the United States government and from the State Department that we are paying attention to how other governments are operating when it comes to the press. Uh, it has the State Department each year chronicling how press freedom is operating as one component of uh, our human rights assessment. But it also looks at countries that are uh, governments that are specifically condoning uh, or facilitating this kind of press repression, uh, singles them out, uh, and uh, subjects them to uh, the gaze of world opinion uh, in, in ways that I think are extraordinarily important. Uh, oftentimes, without this kind of attention, Countries and governments feel that they can operate against the press with impunity. And we want to send a message that they can. So uh, this legislation, uh, in a very modest way, uh, I think puts us clearly on the side of journalistic freedom. Uh, I want to thank uh, Adam Schiff in the House and uh, Senator Chris Dodd in the Senate for their leadership. And I particularly want to thank uh, the Pearl family who have been so outspoken uh, and so courageous in sending a, a clear message that uh, despite Daniel's death, uh, his vision of uh, a well-informed citizenry that is able to make choices and hold governments accountable, that that, uh, that legacy lives on. So we are very grateful to them. Uh, I'm grateful to the legislative leaders who helped to pass this. Uh, it is something that I intend to make sure our State Department carries out with vigor. And with that, I'm going to sign the bill. There you go. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Appreciate it.